Hi, this is Airbag Trailers. Uh, just a bit of an overview video of a premium version trailer. Uh, this one is also optioned with the tyre rack and also the max track system. So this is for securing over your wheels um, or you can attach to it anywhere you'd like. Um, this trailer also has all of our standard perimeter tie down points in steel plate. Um, as well as we've added a couple of extras at the rear just to give some extra options and then also added a couple of extra ones in the front but standard there's 12 so um, six at the front and six at the rear so you've got plenty of places to attach your vehicle to so just some features I've got the collar lock um, coupling which is really secure um, so it just locks in place that slides back and uh, this pivots open so it can't accidentally come open. Um, breakaway cable um, coiled up so it doesn't drop down. Um, you've got your two breakaway, uh, two chains. Um, the electrical cord can be um, extended or shortened depending on where your connection is for your truck. Um, what else? It's all black. Uh, this one's powder coated frame um, with an optional primer coat as well because it's going overseas. Um, here's the control panel. Um, so you've got four controls standard with a valve uh, with gauges for each um, airbag. And so you've got the rears and the fronts um, which correspond to each, each airbag. And then you've got a tank pressure as well. So that goes up to 200 psi the twin via compressors and there's a master switch as well so um, it's all stainless steel laser cut um, stainless fasteners um, throughout stainless hinge and uh, yeah so the air systems under here with the battery compressors and then the two tanks underneath uh, as well as all the wiring and everything else so um, same thing with our badges all laser cut and stainless steel um, Going for top quality. This one, the premium model comes with a, a wind deflector rather than, or stone deflector, whatever you want to call it, um, rather than a toolbox. So this is standard on the premium version and optional on the basic version. Um, so this one here is a somewhat of a prototype design. So we're going to tweak that going forward, but that's the general um, shape and function of it is to protect your vehicle from stones. Uh, this one's got the worn 4000DC winch um, which is really great. A lot of customers um, tell us that they don't even actually use it because the approach angle is so low but it's good to have there just in case you want to you know maybe you're gonna move a vehicle that's not running or a vehicle that's been crashed or just you know you're by yourself and you want to winch it up rather than drive the, the car onto the trailer so um, yeah so what else uh, the tire rack is adjustable for height so you've got um, these lower legs which fit inside the main part of it and there's one two and three so you've got different height adjustment points um, you've also got three width adjustments so the central fitting will do uh, most wheels, but if you've got something really small, you can, you know, you, you drive a Mini or a Lotus 7 or something with tiny wheels, um, you can put it on this one. And if you've got really large wheels, you know, a um, drag car, for example, your rear tires might be really big, um, you put it on the large one. And then similarly, so there's a, a tube that runs across here, it kind of rattles a little bit, so when we're not using it, we leave it off. And depending on which, hole you have this mounted in for the the width for the, the wheels you can um, put the corresponding um, position at the top for the cross tube that holds um, you know that runs through the middle of the wheels and secures the secures them from you know they can't jump off um, so what else so this one the customer chose uh, their own wheel style for this uh, which is a seven spoke design it's really nice um, Generally, we can uh, provide many options for wheels and let the customer choose what they want. Um, we run uh, Bilstein Shock Standard, so these are a really nice unit. 
So Bilstein shocks on all four wheels. Um, and Technique lights, which all round, um, really nice, uh, made in the USA product. Um, so these are their new tail lights that we're running. We made our own brackets. These are laser cut and CNC folded and fit the lights perfectly. So um, they're a really nice tail light and they've got a reverse light in them as well now. So that's a new feature for this year. And uh, we're also trialing a new feature which is the rear reflective strip and then you've got your three central lights at the back and so when you're loading the uh, license place just flips out the way like that and that's again that's all in stainless steel so you've got a rubber boot so it doesn't make any noise it's all weather pack connectors and uh, stainless clips stainless fasteners stainless hinge uh, it's all really nice so generally they only need replacing if someone drives into the back of you. Um, around here we've got, uh, these are the suspension stops, so um, in practical use they shouldn't really ever be used, but just more of a peace of mind thing that um, these prevent the trailer from lowering fully. Um, but yeah, so if you were ever to get a leak, for example, in the air system, that's the the primary question that we get which is it's unlikely we use all DOT fittings and they're really reliable they're designed for trucks so you know trucks are designed to do millions of miles and um, yeah and they're all plumbed individually so you'd still have three even if you did ever have a leak at some, at some point so um, these bolts here are for the airbags so if you ever need to pull them out um, what else? Under here you can see one of our two tanks and there's a little drain valve under there for draining the, uh, periodically draining the water which condenses in any compressed air system. So this one's got the spare wheel fitted. Um, it's a drop jack, really nice uh, piece of kit and we add a really heavy duty outdoor rated caster wheel which is super nice for, uh, for moving the car, uh, moving the trailer around by hand um, and it also means that you can get you know the trailer close or you can back your tow vehicle close to the trailer rather than having to line it up dead perfect with the tow ball and then just maneuver the trailer into place so you've got your um, drop leg there that will, you can drop it down nice and quick and then you're, you don't have to crank it the entire way so that's a really nice feature as well on the premium version um, and also optional on the uh, basic version. So yeah, so that's the that's the basics of the uh, premium version.